Hello everyone, my name is Marigol and in today's video, I will be telling you guys about the top 5 tools you guys need to ace for a DevOps engineer position. If you want to work as a DevOps engineer, I think these are the 5 tools that you will be using on a daily basis and you guys need to have the knowledge on how to work on them, the hands-on knowledge and also the theory knowledge, but mostly the hands-on so whenever you get the job, you can sit and actually work on it. So the first tool I would say would be Jira. Jira is commonly used by businesses and companies all around the world. It's a ticketing uh, tool in which you can distribute your workflows and workloads within projects and within teams. So in Jira, you can have different kinds of tickets, issues, epics, stories, and different tasks that are assigned to different team members and different teams regarding their own specific projects. So it's a pretty simple and easy to learn tool. So I would say, for a DevOps engineer position, you should know how to use Jira. So the second I would say would be GitHub or Git. So GitHub is a commonly known repository uh, tool. Many companies use it for the repositories and for the codes. You can make your repositories public or you can make them private. It's up to you. It's your choice according to your company's policies. So I'd say GitHub is a really good tool that you should know how to use, how to create PRs in. Um, your pull requests in github you should know how to create different like you know make changes in the code all the git uh, commands like git um, status git add git commit git push and git pull and git fetch so these are some basic git commands that you should know how to you know like for example if you want to fetch a repository from github to your local uh, your local uh, laptop or computer how you should do that and if you want to push your local code to github how how you can do that so these are some i would say the knowledge that you know that you should know about git and github and not only that there are other things in github too for example webhooks you can also learn Learn how to um, create webhooks in GitHub and just you know the basic knowledge of Git, Git and GitHub. So I would say that's a good uh, tool to learn for a DevOps engineer position. So moving forward, I would say the third tool that you should know is any cloud platform tool. So it can be Azure, it can be AWS, it can be GCP or it can be Heroku too. So you have many variety of cloud platforms. So I think you should focus maybe on one first start gaining hands-on knowledge on it i personally have learned aws a lot so my i have like aws certifications i have more knowledge in aws hands-on knowledge in my current position as a devops engineer too i have like mostly work on aws with devops aws tools containerization orchestration continuous delivery and continuous integration all the storage and databases everything so i would say one tool that you should know and learn for a must is a cloud platform tool and you know you have different options you can choose from any personally i've been using aws mostly so the first tool i would say is jenkins so jenkins is a ci tool which is continuous integration tool you can integrate it with aws any cloud platform or even github so personally i would say for a devops engineer position you should know how to use jenkins how to create jobs on jenkins how to create builds on jenkins how to integrate it with aws for example or even github so with jenkins you can create continuous integration continuous delivery pipelines for your business so once you just simply put in the code you trigger the pipeline through Jenkins and it updates your code or your application. So Jenkins is a really good tool to learn. It's easy to learn. I mean, it does get a little complicated because there's a lot to learn in Jenkins. But once you get the gist of it, it's really easy to actually understand how Jenkins works. So the fifth tool I would say would be any containerization tool, which can be Docker or Kubernetes. So as you guys know, containerization is expandingly growing throughout uh, the cloud platform and DevOps world. So I would say learning Docker or Kubernetes would be a really good knowledge for a DevOps engineer position. This can come in handy for your real life job or even your job interview for a DevOps engineer. So Docker, containers, Kubernetes, you can also have um, and gain knowledge on AWS, ECS, EKS, which is Elastic Container Service, Elastic Kubernetes Service, or ECR, which is Elastic 
uh, elastic container uh, registry for aws there's another also aws tool which is ecs fargate it also autom uh, automates your containerization so i think that's also a really good tool to learn and containerization will really help you in the devops field so this would be the end of my video for the top five tools that you guys need to learn for a devops engineer position and your daily day-to-day -day workloads for a devops engineer i would say try to learn them uh step by step start hands-on working on them start also learning theory knowledge but i would say gain more hands-on skills so when you get the job you can actually work on them so hope you guys like the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more videos